My name's Angelo, and welcome to We Want Picks. Every single week, we break down full UFC fight cards. We give you our picks, our bets, and our fantasy plays. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our content. And we're also giving away $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets, signs up with one of our five betting partners, and makes a deposit will get $50 from us. Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, however you want it. And this is brought to you by EarnU.io. EarnU.io is the world's first sports and esports prediction game, allowing you to earn crypto risk-free. Check it out now at EarnU.io. Next up at UFC Vegas 52, this fight was on, then off, and now it's back on. So officially, Sergey Kanduzako is still on this card, even though yesterday he was removed. But he's on. This fight is on as of now. We have Dwight Grant taking on Sergey Kanzadako. <laughs> That's not even close. Uh, Dwight Grant, 11-4 overall, 3-2 in his last five, coming off a split decision loss to Francisco Trinaldo. Sergey, 27-6 overall, 3-2 in his last five, coming back after a 2 year layoff so again this card is loaded with people coming back after very long layoffs Dwight Grant is very tall he's very long and he has really clean striking and he uses that range well he has a ton of power solid takedown defense and questionable cardio he has two losses in the UFC his losses his loss against Trinaldo was a split decision that came down to control time and in his fight against Daniel Rodriguez he was knocked out pretty bad but if you watch it he was winning those exchanges. He should have gotten his own knockout, but he blew his wide, and then he was stopped. Sergey Kanzadako is a creative striker with great speed, power, and combinations. He has excellent counter striking while maintaining forward pressure. He can march forward, throwing bombs from his hips, or fight a technical kickboxing match. I love his pressure, his pace, and his ability to snatch up submissions and scrambles. This should be a really fun fight, and this is excellent matchmaking. Both of these guys are fun strikers with real power. Both of them have positive striking differentials and are very comfortable slugging it out. I think Grant has more power, but Sergey has better counter striking. Grant definitely has the better takedowns, but Sergey is probably the better grappler. And this is a fantastic fight and such a hard pick. My head is telling me to pick Grant for his experience and speed, but my gut is saying to pick Sergey because of his incredible pressure and his willingness to chase a stoppage. I am going to go with Grant here, but if his cardio slips up even a tiny bit, Sergey's pressure is going to steal those rounds. So I'm going with Dwight Grant here. He is the pick. What are your thoughts, Jake? Yeah, that that last fight against uh, Trinaldo was a, a split decision, but it was a fight that Trinaldo lost a point, uh, got a point deduction in the third round. And what I didn't like about that was Dwight Grant was getting beat up to that point. He knew that uh, Trinaldo lost a point in that third round. That was a chance to make it a 10-8 round and get a draw out of that um, situation. And Trinaldo came out and took him down and just really kind of mauled him for the rest of the round. That was his opportunity to kind of steal the fight back. And he just kind of folded. He didn't look interested almost. It was it was very, very weird. He does he is very, very long and he he uses jab well to to um to keep that length. But Sergey is also another tall, linky guy. So I don't think the length is gonna be um to his advantage that it normally is in, in his fights. You know what's also funny about that that Trinaldo fight is when they when they announced the scorecards, I think it was 29-27, 29-27. And then they had the, the first card they ran, they read was a 29-27 for Grant, which it was like, who, how the hell did he win that? And the, somebody from the crowd, they go, uh, the first judge, blah, 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 29-27, Grant. And somebody goes, what? Because <laughs> it was at the apex. So it's like real quiet. So somebody goes, what? <laughs> like, what the hell kind of good scorecard is that? Um, he actually has four split decisions in his last six fights. So if there's a weird prop bet for a split decision, you might want to throw some money on that. But, you know, I, I think he has a length. I actually think he has the precision in this matchup with the strikes. He's very precise. But I think the speed advantage is very much in the favor with Sergey. And, and that's, I think, is what separates. I think Sergey's punches are going to be there a little bit quicker than Grant's. Um, if Grant can maybe wrestle, you know, but I think Sergey D D takedown defense is good enough and he is a good enough grappler to withstand that. But I'm going to go with Sergey because I think he's just got a little bit better striker in this matchup. And I didn't like I, that, that, that the, the lack of killer instinct in, in Dwight Grant's last fight. Yeah, I didn't. I almost, I almost picked Sergey. The only reason I went with Grant is the layoff and he does have some power. 
you know, but but yeah, I mean, this is another one. I'm gonna watch the scales. If he shows up on the scales, fantastic, tons of energy, ready to go, and it doesn't look like a two year layoff matters, then great, then great. You know, so this is. I'm not a big, uh, you know, what I don't do here is full breakdowns, make picks, and then be like, oh, but you have to watch our live stream for our final picks. I don't do that, but this honestly is the week where it may matter because picks may change. Two-year layoff, three-year layoff, one and a half, like there's so many things going on this week. So uh, Sergey was my pick, and then I, I was like, I just can't do it. That's such a long layoff here. And Dwight Grant is dangerous, does have power, does hit hard. So... Anyway, um, you and I are split here, 7,900 to 8,300. You throw in Sergey in your DraftKings lineup at $8,300. No, probably because because that layoff that you mentioned. That does, it's a little worrisome. I think he's a better right. fighter, but yeah, not interested. Uh, and then Monkey Knife Fight, 39 to 82. That's basically saying a very dominant decision is what that that's saying there. So... You think Sergey wins? You think he gets in eighty-two strikes and somehow Dwight is only held to thirty-nine? Yeah, I think it's a, it's, I think it's a more or less situation because Grant's always pumping that jab out there, and because they're so long, he's probably gonna be landing uh, a lot of those. And and Sergey, well, I, I think he's gonna win and might be winning a decision, so he's gonna be. But yeah, eighty-two is a lot. Yeah, I think you're right. I think more or less is the play there. So check that out at wewantpicks.com/slash/mkf. Sign up, make a deposit. They will instantly match that deposit up to $100. And if you want $50 from us, we want picks.com slash bets. Sign up with any one of our five betting partners, make a deposit, and we send you $50 as a thank you. And you guys are giving me a hard time for pronouncing Sergey's last name. I appreciate some of you wrote it out phonetically. Somebody in the comment section the other day offered to go on the Discord and write out everybody's names phonetically for me. So... Anybody wants to do that, our Discord is 100% free. Everything we do is free. In the description of this video, go to the Discord. Actually, the comment, too, I'll put. Go to the Discord and write out the complicated names phonetically, and I appreciate it. I also love the comments that say, a little professionalism, bro. Dude, it's a podcast. Chill out. This is- There's your professionalism right there, buddy. Okay, settle down. <laughs> 